Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here and welcome to some Resident Evil Village. Now, it's been a long time since I've actually played any Resident Evil game. I can't remember the last time I've actually played one. It might have been the first couple ye many years ago. But this is Resident Evil 8. I never played 7, so we're going to go into the bonuses, movies, and we're going to watch the recap of Resident Evil 7. I do ha own it, but I just played maybe the first 30 minutes of it. This past week, I didn't really get far into it at all. So I do plan on playing it in the future, probably during the stream, just so I can experience it myself. But yeah, let's uh, hit, a, hit the recap and start the game. Okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's okay, buddy. It's all over now. Okay, and I believe this is revisiting that area. I'm not entirely sure. But let's get into it. I did download a couple mods for the game. Just a, like a shaders mod. Uh, something with the couple of the characters in the game we'll see how it goes and let's go a new game we will do we'll do standard kind of want to do casual but we'll do standard and i am on pc but i'm using a controller ago, a just feel more comfortable her mother to pick berries for her father who was hard at work but the forest greeted them with a dark cold silence the bushes empty Yet determined to find the berries, the Rasko broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a click of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful, gold 
golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. Oh, she little said, baby. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Okay. I'll finish dinner. Now, I wanted to play Seven because this okay, is a continuance with the same characters, but, uh, yeah, it just didn't. I get to walk around? Ooh, I do. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put hey, it down. Hey, baby. The main unit of the baby monitor is turned off. Rose's diapers, she started to outgrow them. You know, just got to explore a little bit. Oh, damn. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yep, pretty scary. Oh, this is the wrong room. This bathroom. Maya's medication. She's been so strict regimen ever since the incident. So, I don't want to get me too confused. I don't want to confuse anybody watching, but I think these are the two characters from Seven. Since the incident, they had a kid, and now we're in a home together. Living the good life. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Damn right you gotta clean. What the hell? Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the Murdoch under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to be to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Ah. About this already. It's a cover-up. So they don't think we exist anymore or something like that. It's good to explore, get some backstory. That's what we need. And we went that way. Almost there, honey. Ooh, what's in here? February 6, 2021. Maya and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. So it's been three years and we had a fight about it. 
I know Maya doesn't like to talk about it, but we can real can we but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Maya I know Maya th knows us too. We shouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Ooh, hello. Name Rosemary Winters, 2 8 2020. Screenings, hearing, vision, touch, reflex test. All results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes results of additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. Ah, so. Need some extra tests done to make sure she's uh, not infected. Gun survival is a heavy. I know I have to really have to get you. I don't get to read that. A heavy firearms manual for field combat situations. <laughs> uh, turn the page. There we go. Aw, pregnancy photos. I wish it could stay like this forever. Why can't it? Oh, well, obviously she's going to grow up, but, you know. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. You know, I don't like the sound of that. It sounds like uh, Maya has some uh, pretty close, deep sweetheart. issues. Don't you worry. I'll Since right the downstairs. incident. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. So, uh, now we can just go downstairs, see what, uh, Maya is up to. This is a pretty big house for a small family. Maya, you good? Is she okay? Sleeping like, uh, well, like a baby. Mmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de legume. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here. Military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! What the hell? Um Mia. Oh god. Hi. Chris? What the hell? Sorry. What? Why? Go move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no.
Okay, then. That's an intense start. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not part of the Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Whoa. Mission objective, eliminate target, recover body. Se secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the, two, move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. So why is this all coming about three years later? That's what I want to know. Plus it's because of the baby. And that's what the test results were that they found. Let's follow the uh, footprints, I guess. It is dark. What's that noise? Do not enter. Well, looks like uh, we're just gonna enter. Got it. Ow. It is so dark. Hello? Um, this does not look good. Why is the light so low? That's what I want to know. Is it because of the shaders I have installed? Might be. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Just can't see anything. I never played the demo, by the way, either, so I don't know what's to come if this is even part of the demo. It's 
so dark. I look at the ground here. I'm going, oh, hello. Hi. Some rope. So nothing useful in there. There we go. Save water. Not a fan of just darkness. Hmm, what's this? Oh, uh, can we turn that properly? Uh, okay. What the hell? Yeah, bloody. You know, that's a damn good question. Well, at least it's not dark anymore. Funny how that changed so quickly. And now we can run. Cool, cool. Don't have a weapon yet, though, so... I imagine we're gonna get one soon. Whoa. <laughs> what do you know? It's a little village. Aw, poor animal. See anybody home? Maybe, maybe they're out. An easy to pick lock. Ooh. I don't see anything to pick it though. No, the do not enter. Let's go over here. Let's see what we can find. Nothing useful. What was that?
Monkey Blair. Bear. Wow. What happened? You know, you're asking a lot of good questions. I would love to know the answers to. Graveyard, workshop, ceremony site. Oh, active fire. Maybe somebody's there. Locked due to missing homeowner. You know, I feel like there's a lot of missing homeowners here. It's locked. Hello, anybody home? Shit. Oh, I'm locked in. Uh oh. Some force should break it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, hey, cool. So we're finding stuff that's. Could be good news, it could be bad news. Did they just run out of the house? Huh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road and... What's going on? It's a oh. nice old man. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it. Take it. Thank you. Hey, are you listening? Hey. What the? Very observant. There's more. Well, I don't really want to be down here. You're going to jump. Why not? Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Wait, what is that down there? Half hour and again, we already lost two fingers. No. What the? Holy crap. 
What the hell? I might actually need to use keyboard and mouse. It's been so long since I used a controller. Aiming sucks. Oh, crafting. Uh oh. So triangle over. Wait. Oh, okay. I gotta find something to break it. Got it. That makes sense. There we go. See, I'm learning, I'm learning. <laughs> um. Hello? Guys are making a l I hope I didn't lock myself in here with something now. Hello? What are these werewolves? That's what they look like. I don't know where to go! Something out there I can break. Over. Oh, now you're working again. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Oh yeah, I want to see some survivors. Let's go. I'm out. Damn it. Oh, no. I'm out. Oh, my God. Oh no. 
How do I survive this? Where are those fire arrows coming from? What? Yeah. So maybe I shouldn't have attacked that guy. What do we gotta do? Oh, they got a new journal entry. It should have been a night like any other, but then Chris Redfield came in and destroyed our family. He took a rose away, shot me right in front of me. I was knocked out and now I'm in some forest in the middle of nowhere. What's going on? Is it over? Okay. So don't attack the guys. Good, that brings an army apparently. Hi. Where the hell did he go? Oh my god! I think I grabbed everything. Hopefully. Hi, buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um Stay away. Ah! I don't know where to go. What the hell? What is this big dude? Oh, I screwed myself. I, I don't know what to do here.
What's in this house? I didn't see what it said over here. That's locked, I think. Damn it! I need to go over here. Please, please. Never mind, cause he just came out here. I'm trapped. Um, hi. You know, I don't think I needed to waste all my ammo there. Now that I think about it. I didn't know it was going to leave this cutscene, to be honest. Um, hello? Oh, this is just straight up locked, right? Yeah. Okay. Hi. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. Are you just gonna lock me in here? Again. <laughs> Rose is here. Okay, crazy old lady. Can I uh, craft anything? I don't think I can. Handgun ammo. Handgun ammo. The hell yeah. Easy to pick lock. How do you get the lock picks to do that though? Okay, so I believe the blue is stuff we already went inside, did everything inside the building. The red is stuff I need, still need to do. I need a lock pick for that. Lock pick over there. Okay. This needs some kind of other item. Oh, hey, goat. We offer these goat of wardings to protect the village and its people, and who break them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. Got a new journal entry. February 9th, early morning, Village Square. I found a village just outside of the forest, but one of the villagers was attacked and dragged by, off by some kind of beast. I managed to survive these, those creatures, and, and an old woman told me Rose is here somewhere. I need to find her before these monsters get to her, too.
find a way to open the gate. Got it. Should disaster fall upon the villa, seek out the crests. One is the care of the church, the other is Luisa's house. Oh, save data. Anything in here? Maybe? Ooh, gunpowder. That'll be useful. And a mine. Ooh, hello. I want a spot to block the doorway, so this area might not be safe. Oh, I see you, you little bastard. Hello, I see you. Um, So, how do I get around these guys? Uh oh. Who else out there? Was just two of them? Wasting the mine, but it was worth. Something over here, right? Yep. I hear him. Where the hell is he? Close the door. Oh, hello. Please. Hey, what are you doing here? Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. Must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> okay. Nothing in here, though. That sucks. Oh, 
was das? Ist das Luises Haus? There we go, made a bunch of first aids for me. Can we unlock it? Come on, it's clear. Hurry. I didn't even check the house, but you know, it might not be clear, but you know. Took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. Dude, it only took me two seconds. Okay, maybe a minute real time, but you know. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Yeah. Safer here than out there, that's Give or for take. sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Maybe uh, nobody's Hello? alive. Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa, open up. It's me, Elena. Um. Shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend. Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now. These people are our friends. Go on. Go inside. Come now. This way. You're not from this village. Uh, nope. No. I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Okay. Lovely home you have. I'll check on the others. Saving, and with that save, I'm actually gonna call it right there. Uh, don't know when to save and when not to save in this game, or end the video because it's like very continuous. But hope you guys enjoy what's going on so far. Some crazy stuff happening and some crazy stuff to come. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like the content, like, subscribe, or comment. It really helps out the videos. And can't wait to see you in the next one. Until next time, remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know who's love you can save or change. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace out, everyone.